Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it is Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday? Today is Tuesday, right? It's only Tuesday, Nancy. Don't try to rush it. Tuesday, September 9th. It's almost the anniversary of the World Trade Center. Can, any, can everybody remember exactly where they were when that happened? I was parking my car in the parking lot of the radio station that I worked at. And I was listening to Z100. I remember it like it was yesterday. And at first, when they, they started to talk about it, they thought it was just like a little small little plane that had a little Cessna that had crashed into the World Trade Center. So I think it was Elvis who was talking. I distinctly remember the voice. And he goes, yeah, we just heard something about a little plane crashing into the World Trade Center, a little plane. By the time I got out the car into the radio station, there was a hush on the, the floor. And I'm like, what the hell? Because from the radio station to the, to the actual building, I had to walk a block. So things must have been going on and on and on. And then I went at my desk and around the corner and into, at the time, uh, the general sales manager's office way before Bitch Meister General. Who got the boot? Anyway, yeah. Okay, so oh, 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 everybody, all the salespeople, because he had his television on. And I got a seat. And I said, what the hell? And he said, the plane just crashed into the World Trade Center. And I said, yeah, I heard about that on the radio. What kind of plane was it? Was it a small plane? He goes, no, it was a jet plane, Nancy. So then we're sitting there and we're watching. And of course, they run it a loop, a loop, a loop. And I'm like, I could not believe it. Well, we all know what happened after that. So let's not even go there. But yeah, I definitely remember where I was, what I was doing, how in shock I was and everybody was. Oh, it was, it was maddening. It was maddening. But on to a lighter note. Hello. Last night's dinner with Pop. Well, first, let me do lips of the day because I know a lot of people just want me to do that and get it over with. So as you can see, I'm starting with my dark colors. This was not the color I originally wanted to wear. I wanted to wear something else, but I had changed my top. And the top that I wanted to wear no longer fits. I think it shrunk. Personally. So um, I had to do a quick change. But I didn't have time to change the makeup and everything. And as it turns out, it, it went. <sighs> In any event, this is, let's start with the liner. This is lined with my MAC Night Moth lined. And filled, obviously, with one of my darker shades that's in the packaging. Uh, this is, remember the three Jordana lipsticks that I had? Well, this is one of the three. And this is Jordana, as you can see, in Fiesta. 022 Fiesta. And this is what Fiesta looks like. It's like a, it's a dark plum with a burgundy reddish undertone, as you can see. And it, it comes off, it starts to, like when you start to wear it, it starts to like skip. It starts like a little dry, but as you keep applying, it gets smoother and smoother. So now it's just like really smooth. It's really smooth, and I really like it, and the staying power is phenomenal. And this is it. It's rather light when you first apply, but, you know, you keep applying, and you know me and my dark lips. So, yeah, this is it. 
Yes, indeedy do. And if you can tell, I don't know if you would call this shimmer. I don't know if you could tell that there's like a bit of a iridescent or translucent or transparent. There's some kind of shimmeriness going on in there. And it's very, very sweet, but you can't see a damn bit of shimmer on your lips. And me likey, me likey a lot. So this is Jordana Fiesta. And um, I bought this on Amazon. So I don't know if it, you could find this in the store. I remember it being a rather popular shade in the stores. In like, you know, um, beauty supply stores. You could probably find it there. But if not, just go on Amazon. It You get three because remember I had the black lipstick in, in that package. You get three for like, I think it was $4.98 or $4.99. It was just really dirt cheap. So there you go. So on to the dinner of last night. Now, you know I didn't want to go. I was tired I'm, like I'm now. I'm, t I'm ten times tired now than I was last night. But we went. We had a good old time. We practically closed the place down. Okay. Pop and his nephew doing the whole I remember when and all of this. And Pop talking about old times and this, this, and that. And I'm sitting with my cousin. And we're having a good time and we're talking. And it was just a really good time. Just the five of us was just, it was really great. It was really great. And um, by the time we got, by the time we left, it was like a quarter to 11. So by the time Pop and I got home, Yeah, by the time Pop and I got home, it was probably a quarter to 12. And seeing that I was still full and everything, Pop said he went straight to sleep. I could not go straight to sleep. I had to wait until the, the food settled down in my stomach a little bit. Oh, some food. So much so that I brought some home. I'm going to have the rest of that tonight. My empanadas. My, uh, I have one. No. I have, yeah, I have one empanadas or empanada. I have a few tostones and still a good amount of moro. That would be, I have one beef patty, a few fried plantains left, and some rice and, and, rice and beans together. So that's going to be dinner for me tonight. The food was phenomenal. Havana Central, if you want some good Cuban food, whoo, delicioso, delicioso. I took, I took home some food. My cousin took home some food. I think everybody, with the exception of my father, greedy bastard, he done ate the whole damn thing. And he, my father had a Coke and a pina colada, a salad and a main course, and ate the whole damn thing. I'm not saying nothing, but we wound up really having a good time. So I didn't get to sleep until a quarter to one, somewhere around there, one. I, I know I probably got into the bed around one o'clock, so I didn't really fall asleep until maybe 1.30. And then I just, it, finally when I hit, I hit hard, and then the alarm went off. And I'm like, what? I just put my head, just put my head down. I didn't even get up to go to the bathroom, nothing. I just, out. And then the next thing you know, my alarm. I was like, excuse me? What? And now, the sun is taking its sweet time getting up, rising, because now it's going to start. Now I'm going to wake up in the dark, and I'm going to eventually come home in the dark. So right now, it looks like it's about to rain. But this is what it looked like this morning. And I'm like, oh, for real? For real? And when you wake up in the dark, that's the only part of the fall and winter I don't like. Is it just feels gloomy when you wake up and you come home gloomy because it's dark already? And now that I don't have an hour to go to lunch anymore, I'm indoors the whole time. So. 
So that's the part of fall and winter I really don't like that much. But I like my fall and winter. And it was rather fallish today. I mean, I wore, I'm still wearing my summerish kind of sweaters. And, and, but I need to put these things away because if the rest of the week is going to be like this, I need to change my wardrobe or something. Because I need to start whipping out a little bit of long sleeves, a little bit of, you know, a couple of sweaters here and there. Thank goodness I have a sweater at work. Because, of course, they still blasting the AC. So, I have the sweater at work. So, today I wore it because it was rather chilly. And it was a bit breezy this morning. So, it was really nice. It's just that nice, crisp nip in the air that you know fall is around the corner. So, it was very, it was very nice. But now, it's, it stayed cloudy. And there's going to be some rain either to, in a few minutes or later on tonight, there's going to be some rain. Either today, tomorrow, it's bound to be here. So that was that with that upon that, people. Um, I am very loving, very loving. I am loving this dark lip. It's a very, you know, I miss my dark colors because I got to get back into the dark color routine now. And I am, you know, this is, this is Nancy right here. This is Nancy right up in here. Very nice. And this is, a, it's not a matte. I would call it a pearl, really. If it, if it doesn't really say what it is, it's just, you know, Fiesta just says the color. But if I were to describe it, I would describe it as a pearl because of the, sh the little shimmeriness in it that you really don't see. You see it on the lipstick, but you don't see it on your lips. Very nice. This kind of reminds me of Rebel, Mac Rebel. Now I got a whole bunch of Mac Rebel dupes, a whole slew of Mac Rebel dupes. This is another one that falls in line. So there you go. And for a hell of a lot cheaper too. Just letting y'all know. So that's it, people. That is all. I am tired. I don't know where the master of the house is. I know he knows I'm home, but um, he's either under the bed or behind the sofa or in the living room. I have no idea. But uh, he is not here to greet me today. That's the way he feels. Hey. And he's getting rather um, accustomed to his new food. He has no choice in the matter. It's enough that he just won't eat wet food at all. But when it comes to dry food, and if it's beef, and I think this is a beef-flavored food that he's eating, He'll eat it eventually. I mean, he may he may throw a stink about it, but he'll eat it. There's no choice in the matter. It's not like I can substitute it for something else. That's all he's eating. So if you're hungry enough, like my mom used to say, when I used to be stubborn about eating my food, or I didn't want what, I, what she cooked at that time, she never really forced me to eat vegetables and everything because she knew I was really not going to eat the vegetables. But if she was cooking something and I really wasn't... Mm, and she said, well, I'm going to have dinner. Are you going to have dinner? Because Pop worked at night. Still does. And so it was always mom and me. And I said, mm, I just don't. Um. And she's like, oh, you don't like what I cooked tonight? And I wouldn't really say no, but I would say, well, I'm just not hungry. She goes, well, you'll eat when you're hungry. Sure enough. Because dinner time was around 6.30-ish, 7, between the two of us. I usually crawled into the kitchen around eight-ish. I finally ate what she cooked. I was hungry, damn it. So, yeah. So, just like my mom used to treat me, is the way I'm treating Mr. Man. Tom will eat when he's good and ready and good and hungry. Okay. So, the, oh, here we go. This fire truck has to be the same fire truck going down the same street practically at least once or twice a week. Probably going to the same house. I don't know. But it's always going in the same direction. I don't know if you heard that, but that was a fire truck that passed by. In any event, that is it, people. That is all. That's all I have for you. Um, Cutie was talking about school and his classes and his homework. And uh, he said he's, he's getting the hang of it now because last night's homework was still math and chemistry and all of that. 
And he's like, okay, it didn't take me as long as the first time. I said, see, the cobwebs are gone. You're getting back in the swing of things. He's like, yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. So he is back in full school mode. And so that's that with that upon that. And I got to see Mrs. Cutie, too. And at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, he comes and sees me. Well, I don't know if he knew that she was coming by our way. Because in order to get to the, the big boardroom, you have to go through the reception area to get to the big boardroom. And he and we were talking, blah, 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 standing. And here she come with a bunch of people. And she was the first one to open the door. And she's looking at him. And she's looking at me. And she's like, hi. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, hi. <laughs> but you know that kind of look that a, a, a woman gives another woman? Like, what you, what's going on here? Ain't nothing going on. She should know this by now. Ain't nothing going on. So don't get it twisted. Just because we have time to talk with each other and he comes and talks to me, I am not taking your man, okay? He is yours. As as you well show us. More, more, more. More fire trucks? Oh, this must be a big one. My goodness. So, like I said, she has nothing to worry about, okay? Because she shows us on Facebook, the pictures of them kissing and whatnot. You, you don't have to. You don't have to prove nothing to me. I don't even look at him that way anymore. I just think we're just good coworker friends. But I don't see him like the way I saw him earlier when I had first noticed him. No, I don't see him like that anymore. I don't see him like a, a little brother or anything like. I just see us as good like coworker pals. And that's basically it in a nutshell. And as for uh, sexy eyes, I see him every once in a while. But you know what? Ain't nothing going to happen between him, him and I. If he wanted to make a move, he would have made a move. Now, of course, it's 2014. I could make a move. But I don't. he's not giving me that vibe to make a move. I'm giving him all the vibes. But he's not picking up on them. Or he just doesn't want to. Or he's not interested. That's cool. Hey, I'm probably older than he is anyway. And it's not like I have my size 14 physique anymore. Size 12, 14. I was looking good back then. So, yeah, I'm twice the size now. So, I'm sure he's just not interested. I mean, we just say hi. That's as far as our, our conversations go. Hi. Hi. And that's it. What can I tell you? I'm not losing sleep. Believe me, I'm not losing sleep. In fact, I want to go to sleep right damn now. So that is that with that upon that, people. Okay. Um, it's going on. Eight, it's 18 now. So I got something over here. There we go. And that's that. So I hope you had a good Tuesday. It's only Tuesday, for real. A good Tuesday day. And I hope you have a good Tuesday night, a good Tuesday evening, a nice restful one. And I think I'm going to be going to sleep at 10 o'clock. If there's nothing to watch, because I really don't think there's anything to watch. By the way, I did DVR Real Housewives of something. Was there a reunion? I don't know. I DVR'd something. It was a choice between that and Master Chef, and Master Chef was like two hours, and I did not tape that. I can always catch catch up with that like late on demand, I think. But I taped something, and I believe it was a Real Housewives of something. I forgot what it was, but I did see Real Housewives of New Jersey on Sunday. It's <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. It's all about Teresa getting ready to go to the pokey with her husband and all of that. And it, it's really should, it should really be called the Teresa show. Oh, look who it is. Practically scared me half out of my mind. Hello. Okay. Yes, puppy. Oh, he, he just looked for my hand. He just like, oh, where's her hand? Yeah. Okay. Love, love. So, um, I know I DVR'd something, and I think it was a Real Housewives of something, but I don't remember which one it was. So, 
could have been, it could be a repeat for all I know. I, I probably DVR'd a repeat. In any event, I'll let you know. But that's about that with that. And is anybody watching Boardwalk Empire? Because it started last Sunday. Anybody out there watching Boardwalk Empire? <sighs> Getting good. Nine more episodes to go because they only gave us ten. It, that's to end the entire series. The entire series. This is this is the last season. <sighs> okay, I'm going now because I really do have to go. I'm dog tired. I have to go and I'm not even that hungry yet. So I may go to sleep without any dinner. I'm just I'm just that exhausted. Okay. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of this. Oh, it's like a black cherry. Nice. Sweet. Love it. And it has a scent. It does have a... But the only way I could describe this scent is if you have the Milani color statement, you know that sweet candy scent? That's exactly the way this smells. The same exact scent. So it's because as soon as I smelt it, I'm like... This smells familiar. And it wasn't until I got to work that I realized, oh, it smells like the Milani Color Statement lipsticks. That's exactly what it smells like. So it doesn't have a, a bad scent unless you don't like the scent. But it doesn't last. I mean, you put it on your lips and you don't smell it. You know, you don't smell it at all. That's it. Now I'm going. Okay, that is it. I'm cutting. Cut. Done. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.